Landforms are all around us. In fact, almost everything you see on top of the Earth is one type of landform or another. But it's important to note that landforms can only be called landforms if nature created them. So, a building, not a landform. A fire truck, not a landform. Oh no, not a landform. But a beach, a sea stack, a slot canyon, and this canyon are all different types of landforms. Well, one thing is for sure. All the landforms we've seen today have been shaped by water. That's almost peculiar. How is it possible that the same thirst-quenching water we drink from a water fountain is able to create all of this? And this? And even this? How, oh how, does water do it? Well, there's actually a name for this process. When water cuts and carves the surface of the Earth into different looking landforms. Let's find out what the name is, shall we? Well, there you have it. Landforms look the way they do because of erosion. Think of erosion like this. Imagine a lollipop. If you toss a lollipop into your mouth and suck on it for a really long time, the lollipop begins to get smaller and smaller. That's because your tongue slowly wears down the surface of the lollipop by removing little tiny pieces. Well, the surface of the earth is just like the surface of a lollipop. But instead of a tongue, Mother Nature uses rain. It also uses wind and ice. But we'll stick to the wet stuff for now. So think of it this way. Every time it rains, it's just Mother Nature licking the planet, like a lollipop. With all that rain flowing over the surface of the Earth, the water slowly licks away pieces of sand, soil, and rock. Rivers and streams carry the tiny pieces downstream, eventually reaching the ocean. And that, my friends, is erosion. So wheat.